Let's get right back out to Susan at the Bella Center in Copenhagen because, Susan, it seems like things are changing by the minute there tonight. Yes, yeah, certainly. There's a lot of changes going on. Travel plans are changing. Different drafts of uh, agreements here among world leaders keep on flying out. It is five hours past the deadline for world leaders to come to an agreement on climate change across the globe. This evening, President Obama remains here at this hour beyond his scheduled appearance. Same thing goes for everybody else here. You can see hundreds of journalists here all uh, waiting for an agreement to come down. They, uh, many of them changing their travel plans as well uh, because the word is that an agreement may not come uh, until Saturday or even Sunday. Meantime, world leaders and negotiators keep on hammering away at a possible deal. Since this deadline passed, more multilateral meetings have been taking place all night long. President Obama held a second bilateral meeting with Wen Jai Bao, trying to uh, bridge some of the differences between those two leaders. Uh, I have uh, Margaret Ryan, our executive editor, joining me now. Several drafts of political agreements uh, are being, are being uh, hashed out among these different leaders. Uh, one of them is called the Copenhagen Accord. But first, I want to talk to Margaret about this um, supposed press conference that just happened that caused quite a, a scuffle here at the Bella Center. Well, indeed it did, Susan. There was a rumor that spread like wildfire through the entire, this huge press room that Obama would hold a press conference and people were running pell-mell out there. They got there, they jammed the door, the security people were saying, no, no, there's nothing here. Uh, after something of a face-off where people were screaming, let us in, let us in. People were yelling, we're, we're journalists too, let us in, let us in. Let us in. And in, and uh, that finally turned out there was nothing there. And then there was a second rumor after people had gone back. But I should tell you, there is new news. It's coming from the journalists themselves right now. And that is that an agreement has, in fact, been reached between President Obama for the U.S., uh, China, India, and South Africa. That's the basis of an agreement coming out of Copenhagen. It will not have everything everybody wants. It will not have the detail. It probably will be more of a roadmap to meet again but, and to continue the negotiations on an awful lot of the detail. But nonetheless, they say it has been reached. Uh, I think an important thing is we did, in fact, see uh, at about uh, 9.35, we saw President Obama moving from one meeting area to another. He wasn't going out the door. And that said right there, he's still talking, he's still trying. So, you know, we're waiting now for details. Right. Uh, and uh, the president, most likely the president of this uh, COP, uh, of which is, who is the pres uh, premier of Denmark, uh, will hold any announcement that comes out of it. Okay, so, so a lot of talk about what this latest draft agreement, uh, what it may contain, and Margaret, there's a lot of talk that it, uh, a couple of the items that, that likely or could be in this is that uh, it sticks with that 2% Celsius uh, limit on a temperature rise. Um, that has been one thing that's gone back and forth in drafts. So I've heard, I've heard reporters talking about draft three, draft four, and draft four point, uh, you know, point one. I, there, it's been very confusing all day. But uh, they, one of the things that's gone in and out and some of the phraseology changes have been about that two degrees Celsius. You know, the small island states would like temperatures kept kept below one and a half degrees Celsius. That's a global mean average. But, uh, you know, what the the uh, final texts were saying that we were seeing this afternoon was below two degrees Celsius. Okay. Uh, but not more specific than that. So lots of different items, though, in the different drafts that are coming out. And this latest one we want to reiterate is coming from uh, sources from other reporters, not official sources just yet. But, Margaret, one of the other things that could possibly be in uh, uh, this final draft or one of these drafts is uh, uh, possible greenhouse gas targets for both uh, industrialized and developing countries. And that's right. And that is another thing that has varied among the drafts, whether there's a global greenhouse gas target for the whole globe to meet, uh, whether that's divided down between the developed nations and the developing nations. You know, under the Kyoto Protocol, the developing nations don't have responsibility to actually meet targets. There has been some discussion in some of these drafts of putting some overall or at least aspirational target in for them. Okay, and one important uh, point of contention in a, in, a, in these different drafts is whether or not it includes an actual deadline for the treaty to become legally binding. That's right. Again, you know, uh, the talk has been, even coming into Copenhagen, that it would take another six months to a year because the whole thing could not be signed until the U.S. Congress had acted. Until a bill was out of the Senate and through a conference committee, the U.S. simply couldn't commit to the numbers that were needed in a treaty like this. Uh, and so, there, you know, the talk has been, well, should we have six months more? Should we have a year more? 
a uh, lot more to people talking about a year more because there are an awful lot of differences here that have nothing to do with the U.S. that seem pretty intractable. Okay. Uh, Margaret Ryan, thanks for that. Uh, we're hearing another announcement here about another press conference. That another, they're just calling for another press conference here. Uh, Margaret Ryan, thank you. So different, uh, the world leaders are certainly hashing out uh, different drafts. There is word from other reporters of, a, of another draft that's coming out. Uh, we've heard two, three, four, and then another one called 4.1. We do know, Tyler, that in less than an hour, the Danish Prime Minister Rasmussen, who's the host of the conference, is going to have an update uh, on uh, for the Conference of the Parties on all the high-level meetings going on today. Uh, we are here into the night. We'll be uh, headed for this press conference. You can see the media right now heading to this press conference. We will be there as well. We'll be here into the night, and we'll have all the details for you as they happen. All right, Susan, before you go, quick question about the atmosphere there today. We knew it would be different when President Obama arrived. Uh, expectations were sky high for what he could do today. How much have things changed today, both with negotiations and also what you're seeing there at the Bella Center and the atmosphere surrounding these talks? It's become a lot more urgent. You can see behind me the, the uh, media running around. This, this uh, sort of stepped up level of, uh, of momentum has happened since Obama arrived this morning. Uh, he, every meeting that he has come to, you heard Margaret talking about this uh, press conference that, that never even happened. It caused a crush uh, of reporters rushing into, you know, rushing into a, a press conference that never really happened. So you can really see the influence that President Obama has had uh, as he attends his bilateral meetings and multilateral meetings with these other, uh, other leaders. Yeah, Susan, stay out of the crosswalk there in the newsroom. It looks like a mess there. All right, Susan McGinnis reporting for us live from Copenhagen. Susan, we'll check back with you if we do hear any news, okay? Thanks, Tyler. All right, and we are closely watching that situation. Obviously, we will keep you up to date throughout the rest of this newscast and beyond.